Time now approaching 11.20 Central and a pleasant good Wednesday evening to you. I'm Rob Hip in the Radio Hip News Center. This news a service of Click Computers Remote Support. For more information, visit www.clickremotesupport.com. And here's the latest breaking news in the United States and around the world from allheadlinenews.com. Veggie Oil Van sets record. Two Canadians set record in New York with their vegetable oil-powered van driving, get this, 23,697 miles. Across the world, a car, car bomb kills six and injures 42 in Colombian Pacific Port City. At least six people were killed and more than 42 injured when a car bomb exploded Wednesday near the port city of Bonavierta, Colombia. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the bombing. A man arrested for trying to break back into prison. A 25-year-old Florida man was sentenced to 15 years for trying to actually break back into prison. Prior to this recent incident, the man was placed on seven years probation after being convicted of manslaughter. Playgirl offers Jesse James $500,000 to pose nude. The tattooed other woman, Michelle Bombshell McGee, dubbed Sandra Bullock's husband Jesse James the Vanilla Gorilla because she told in touch he was so well endowed. Now Playgirl is ponying up half a million dollars for the proof. Little sports news, Eagles quarterbacks McNabb, Vic, Kolb, all subject to trade rumors. The Philadelphia Eagles are reportedly open for possible trade deals involving their three quarterbacks, Donovan McNabb, Kevin Kolb, and well-known for his dogfighting days, Michael Vick. Eagles head coach Andy Reid disclosed on Wednesday. A Chinese boy with 15 fingers and 16 toes undergoes surgery to remove those extra digits. Surgeons in China on Wednesday removed the extra fingers and toes from a six-year-old boy from the town of Harbin. He had a total of 15 fingers and 16 toes prior to the operation. And finally, the Russian military is set to bomb ice-clogged rivers to prevent flooding. Russian military jets have been tasked with bombing the country's many ice-clogged rivers. The upcoming bombardment is designed to prevent springtime flooding in portions of that country. Friends, I enjoy talking to you every night. We've had a very nice debate over the past 48 hours or so about the new health care law. I'm not here to talk to you to, tonight about that. I just want to let you know that I'm going to start following a little bit of a format. And uh, whenever I do these broadcasts, if I don't feature more than just the news headlines, I'm going to try to throw in a couple of ideas that are on my mind. Again, tonight, I don't want to talk about the health care law because we've spent a lot of time talking about that. I still think it's very important. I will say that as a conservative American that I do believe that that's not the best for our country right now. But I do not want to debate or go into that this evening. I want to talk to you tonight very shortly on government spending and um, specifically special interest groups and even more in depth over ACORN. Now, I pulled this source a little bit earlier. I don't remember where I got it from, but I find it hard to believe that only 8% of our federal government spending, in, at least in 2006, was used for special interest groups. I think there's a lot more than that. I forgot what source I pulled this from. But anyways, let's just go with 8% tonight, assuming that it's 8%. I don't believe it is. So 8% of your taxpayers' dollars is going into special interest groups. Now, one of these groups, I believe, is ACORN. I believe they're a special interest group. ACORN, uh, over the past few days, is well, over the past few months, actually, starting last year, has been under a lot of controversy. They've always had some things going on, but even more so, starting in September of 2009 and, and later, it really became light. Many of you probably know a lot more about ACORN than I do. I honestly didn't really start getting into the political realm of our government until about a week ago because I started realizing what was going on with this health care reform, which is now law. And I realized that it should be our patriotic duty to at least keep our minds open to what's going on in the government because we are the voice of this country. I wanted to speak to you tonight about ACORN. Um, again, they're, they're now disbanded. This, this nonprofit organization is disbanded. There has been scandals. ACORN claims that they had to shut the doors because of lack of financial income that was keeping them operating. I'll tell you why they don't have the financial income anymore. Now, just as an, an idea, $25 million, I believe I got this off of MSNBC, $25 million is their annual budget. But get this, 10% of that, and this is key, 10% of that $25 million, 10% of that is federal 
funded, federally funded. That means money that's coming out of our pockets to, to, uh, to supply, to help the budget of ACORN. Friends, there are groups all over the place that do a lot of good. And I'm not here to tell you that there is not, because there are groups that may have underlying issues, some of them very severe, like ACORN, that do a lot of good for the community. But I don't want to let I don't want you guys to get blinded by it. If you don't know what ACORN is, it's the Association of Community Organiza- Organizations for Reform Now. That's where the acronym ACORN comes from. It's a collection of community-based organizations here in the United States that advocates for low and moderate income families by working on neighborhood safety, voter registration, housing, affordable housing, social issues, health care, uh, pretty much anything social, ACORN wants to be a part of it. At one point, they had over 400,000 members and more than 1,200 neighboring chapters. Not only were they here in the United States, but they did have other locations in Argentina, Canada, Mexico, Peru. Uh, we can go on and on about more about that, but that's irrelevant. I just wanted to give you an intro to it if you didn't know. Their priorities, again, include better housing, wages for the poor, better wages for the poor, more community development investment from banks and governments, better public schools, and other social justice issues. Now, some of this information I'm reading right now off of Wikipedia. ACORN, they pursued these goals through demonstration, negotiation, lobbying for legislation, and voter participation. They are a nonprofit organization. They're established uh, as a 501c forum that performed lobbying in local chapters of ACORN. Uh, were established as 501c3 nonpartisan charities, char- charities, charities, and the uh, Acorn Housing Co- Co- uh, Cooperation. These uh, entities supported labor-oriented causes. Now, friends, there's from what I'm reading, you sounds like there's a great organization. They're helping people. They're helping low to uh, moderate income, low to minimum income level people. Uh, they even had some ideas with Katrina relief. They, they put their ideas into action and across the country, particularly in the Gulf when Hurricane Katrina hit. Uh, they organized fundraising and drives to ensure that the victims of Katrina receive the assistance and, and uh, will be able to return those affected areas. They push education reform, voter registration. I mean, these guys, it appears, do a lot of good. Now, now then, there's been several controversies. The one that I want to talk about was in 2009. And I'll be honest, I did not know anything about this until a week ago. And you can scour the internet for uh, sources and read all things throughout the internet. And uh, you just have to try to formulate your own decision of it. But whenever you have video documented proof, video proof that is not edited in a way that makes it look bad, because what's going what, to what's gonna happen is when I read this, some of you are already going to start formulating a decision, especially if you're liberal and you don't know about it, which you probably do if you're liberal. I mean, you're going to keep on top of this thing because this was a huge blow for the Democrats. Several of them pulled away from acorn ideas whenever they found out about this controversy. They want to lose votes. If you're conservative, you're going to say, yeah, this this is good that this 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 organization fell apart. I'm going to read this directly from Wikipedia really fast. we got about two minutes until uh, this video time is up. On September 9, 2009, conservative activist Hannah Giles, she is a young, very beautiful young woman, 20 years old, I believe, and James O'Keefe released an edited hidden camera video in which Giles posted as a, pro- posted as a prostitute and O'Keefe posted as a pimp in order to elicit responses from Acorn. In the video, two employees in Acorn's Baltimore office appear to advise to record it. Advise the two regarding home loans, tax evasion, and, and uh, disguising the identities of underage sex workers trafficked from El Salvador. Additional videos followed, filmed in Washington, D.C., Brooklyn, New York, San Diego, California, several other cities. A spokesman accused O'Keefe of dubbing the audio videos. Uh, so several people said these this never happened. Um, basically what happened is these employees were caught saying things and and basically trying to give advice on how they should organize this prostitution ring. O'Keefe posed as a politician uh, that was trying to raise money, and uh, Hannah Giles uh, uh, was the, the, prostitution, the prostitute, and they were together in a relationship. They were basically said, we're going to bring young underage girls from another country in. We need a house for it. And so the Acorn employees were trying to formulate ideas about how they could do it legally or Ill, you know, do it toward it seemed legal where they wouldn't get caught. Well, after the videos were made public, ACORN's partnership and the census was terminated, the United States House and Senate voted to exclude ACORN from federal funding. Friends, there's more like this going on. I'm going to post it eventually on RadioHip.com. It's going to be our new website. Be sure to check it out. But tonight, remember, special interest groups are not always special. We'll have more tomorrow night. Appreciate you guys. Have a great, wonderful night.